Okay, so this is the wrong way to use a console. Okay, there's some I wanted to go over uh, on mixing, uh, using the consoles, whether using a analog or a digital board. And there has been an issue with uh, people not using the consoles correctly. And in a previous video, I did touch on this, but I actually wanted to do something separate to cover it. What I wanted to, to bring up in this video is uh, something called Mixing at Unity. And it is a unfortunate method that people use to mix shows on their consoles. And Mixing at Unity is just what it is here. All the faders are at Unity, meaning if we look at the, at the markings here, we have 0 dB here, 0 dB. The faders all go up to 0 dB, so it means there's no less, no more of a signal coming through. Everything is to be at unity. And what they end up doing is mixing all of their show using the gain knobs at the very top. This way of mixing is wrong. It's incorrect. This is not the proper way to run a console. And also something to think about is if you are one of those that are mixing using the gain, then what is the purpose of the faders? If you did all your mixing up here, the console manufacturers would not be putting faders in the consoles. They would have just a knob that says, like, volume. And if you are mixing at Unity Gain, at any point, looking at these faders, can you tell who is contributing more or less to the mix? There's no way that you can tell because all the faders are exactly the same. And this type of mixing has become, unfortunately, uh, I'm not going to say completely prominent in the industry, but it's happened enough that there, I know of two manufacturers of consoles that have an area in their manuals that tell you do not use the console in this matter. This is not the way it should be run. So some of the key points why you should never mix in this manner that when you adjust the gain, when you make an adjustment here, you are impacting the entire channel and everything after it. In other words, if this is never moved, when you go to adjust something here, that's, this gain setting is going to adjust the level of the entire signal throughout the entire sound system directly out to the speakers. Now, the big issue is if you're running monitors, from front of house. When you make an adjustment on your gain setting, you are also adjusting what takes place in the monitor sense. So if you say, oh, this isn't loud enough here in front of house, I'm just going to turn this up a little bit. Well, guess what? You're probably going to have to go bit down here and turn your monitors down just a little bit on each one. So this is a wrong way of mixing. Now, if you have a separate monitor board, then none of this, none of the monitors are going to be impacted by it, except that's only if you have a separate monitor board. When you're adjusting the gain, and let's say that you actually may have done, let's say that you actually may have done a, uh, you got a level set when you're doing a sound check. If you come in here and decide that you're going to turn up some gain because it needs to be louder, Turning up the gain, and depending upon your microphone that you have, can easily cause a feedback issue with what other channels that you're using. So on the gain, once you have your gain set, you're pretty much not going to readjust it again. You may have to do some fine tuning. Maybe somebody's playing softer. Maybe somebody's playing a little harder than before. Maybe the mic has been bumped and moved, and you have to need to compensate just a little bit. Once the gain is set, you really don't ever touch it again. So the only time that you should ever see a board set up like this is if the console is running monitors. 
And this type of mixing also includes the digital boards. You should never see this type of setup on a digital board for front of house. Now obviously with digital boards, the faders move around. There could be a different type of maybe a mix situation set up on a particular layer. But for front of house, you should never see something like this. In fact, I think it would be uh, quite a bit hard to do uh, mixing using the gain knob on a digital board when you really don't have a quick access to view all the gain at the same time. So there will probably be a lot of button pushing to check the gain of something before readjusting it. So maybe digital boards can quell this type of mixing behavior. All right, thanks for watching. So the only time that you should ever see a board set up like this is if the console is running monitors. This particular board is a dual function console. We can set up to monitors as well as front of house. When the faders are set this way, they are the overall level control for that channel across all of the monitor outputs. So once the gain is set and gain does get set on the monitors, all the monitor levels are conducted through the monitor knobs. So anytime we need to turn somebody up or down, we make the adjustments here in the monitors, not the gain. And if something comes up and we have to uh, for example, let me take somebody out of the monitors, potential feedback issue, all we got to do is bring down their channel and their whole channel comes out of all the monitors till we get the problem fixed and then we can bring them back in. This is the only time that you should see that a board set up this way.